Sudhindra Kulkarni, Chairman of Observer Research Foundation, Mumbai, to give his introductory remarks. I would request him to give, uh, to present to Mr. Hamid Haroon a token of our appreciation. Harun uh, Hamid Saab, Dosto, very friendly, warm evening to all of you. Namaskar. And me, ya Mahatpurna Vyakhyana Sati, Apan Sarvana Manapurvak Swagat Karuichito. And he Survat me Marathi Made Kakili. That's our first one. Our first one. Gives me a great pleasure to welcome you all to this very important event. Thank you, Hamid Harunji, for accepting our invitation. It's a matter of great honor and pleasure for ORF to be hosting this talk by you. The two flags that you see on the backdrop with the Dove of Peace, that is the message of this function. And this painting, friends, is uh, by a mentally challenged girl in Pakistan. The two flags of India and Pakistan, which greeted you at the entrance of our office, that is the message of today's function. And the two flags that you saw in Sumed's wonderful music video fluttering together, that is the message of today's function. And the message of this function is also the dream and the desire that in future, India and Pakistan will hoist both Indian and Pakistani flags together on Independence Day, August 14 and August 15. I have with me a new publication, a forthcoming publication of our uh, foundation. It's called August Voices. It will be out in a few months. I'm showing this because all the great people associated with our freedom movement, both from India and later what became Pakistan, they did not envision the post-British India to be what it is today. Even those who fought for Pakistan, that is Muhammad Ali Jinnah, they did not want the kind of partition that actually happened and the wall of separation that has been erected since then. Friends, we should not remain prisoners of the past. When I met uh, Harunji yesterday, he said something very important. He said that some things of the past, especially those associated with bitterness and bloodshed, they are better left behind. You know, human mind cannot bear to forever carry those memories that are bitter that are associated conflict, war. It's only by leaving some things behind that we can move ahead. And therefore, it's very heartening that our two governments have decided to move ahead with what is now called comprehensive bilateral dialogue. Comprehensive bilateral dialogue. And this breakthrough is truly amazing how it happened and how quickly, after all the flip-flop, so therefore, let's congratulate our two Prime Ministers, Narendra Modi and Nawaz Sharif. They have shown truly praiseworthy boldness and maturity. 
our external affairs minister sushma swaraj visit to islamabad was truly hope giving and let's hope that no more flip flops as she said in parliament now the talks between india and pakistan should go on in an uninterrupted manner in an irreversible manner immune to all those who might try to sabotage through provocative acts and friends you know we in mumbai certainly know a highly provocative act that took place a barbaric act that took place 26 11 and those merchants of death they came on a boat on the sea not far from here but they don't represent they don't represent pakistan they don't represent islam the true representatives of is of islam subcontinental islam the true representative of pakistan are people like harun hamid you know he is the ceo of dawn and dawn the very word it connotes hope and those of you who are familiar with dawn they would agree with me that day after day after day you know dawn gives hope of some new thing coming between india and pakistan it takes enormous boldness on the part of journalists who work in dawn and the people who 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 guide it like him they are doing it but he is not just a journalist my colleague uh, dhawal mentioned him as someone who rose from the ranks and who is today the ceo of dawn but i regard him as if i have to describe him in uh, in marathi he is a gnano pasak gnan ka upasak a seeker of knowledge you know as his talk will shortly <coughs> testify you know he has an amazing knowledge of the cultural artistic heritage that binds india and pakistan and in fact that binds all of south asia in fact it was uh, my first meeting with him was in 2005 when i had uh, accompanied advani ji on his visit to pakistan and he invited advani ji to see uh, an exhibition at this magnificent palace in karachi called mohata palace and the exhibition was called karachi under the raj and i have seen many exhibitions but you know it was so so well done so much of history was recreated through that exhibition and i really felt that that exhibition should also travel to india to especially mumbai and maybe you know we could have an exhibition mumbai and karachi under the raj i met him again in delhi a few years ago and most recently in karachi last month when i had gone there for the launch of uh, khurshid mahmood kasuri's book and that is when he told me he is coming to mumbai i grabbed the opportunity and uh, we have him here friends we've had several programs at the observer research foundation devoted to the cause of promoting india pakistan understanding in october as you know we organized the launch of kasuri saab's book in mumbai defying the threats of the shiv sena the shiv sena had threatened we will not allow any program in mumbai featuring pakistani artists sports persons intellectuals and so on the best way of neutralizing such threats is by actually holding functions with pakistani guests and we have done it again this talk is yet another demonstration 
that Mumbai will not surrender to the threats of those who want to safeguard the wall of separation between India and Pakistan. Mumbai, along with the rest of India, wants to break this wall of separation. You know, the, we are today living in an atmosphere of suffocation. We are so close and yet so far. You know, I mentioned that this painting is, is drawn by a mentally challenged girl. I wonder, you know, if she is mentally challenged and if she can give this message of peace, huh? is she mentally challenged or are all of us mentally challenged? We must not live in the tragedies of the past. We must now have more and more and more constructive peacemaking initiatives between India and Pakistan and help our governments. This peacemaking has to happen both at the level of governments and also people. I would say the efforts of the people are far more important. And it's in this context, friends, that uh, the Observer Research Foundation is going to start two new initiatives in partnership with friends like Harun Hamid, Hamid Harun. One, it is Mumbai Karachi Friendship Forum. There are several platforms that are already working to bring our two countries closer. You know, we have uh, the Press Club of India, we have uh, you know, uh, Jatin Desai, a tireless campaigner for India-Pakistan dialogue. There are many others. This one is a new one, and we want to work with all the existing ones to further intensify and expand the work. And we would like to have partnerships of uh, similar organizations and individuals on the Pakistani side. Many things need to be done. Most of all, all of us must demand that at the very earliest Pakistan is allowed to reopen its consulate in Mumbai and India reopens its consulate in Karachi. It's absolutely essential. It's, it's completely unacceptable that we don't even have consulates. This is a demand which must be intensified. And I hope that uh, it happens soon. Observer Research Foundation has signed an MOU with the Karachi Council on Foreign Relations. We are also in talks with uh, our friends in Mumbai University, and uh, Professor Jondhle is here. Uh, we want to start a center for South Asian studies, or SARC studies, in Mumbai University. Friends, it is my desire, and we would like to have a of uh, friends like uh, Hamid Harun, that in 2016, we have a Marathi Utsav in Karachi. There is a small Maharashtrian community, which is native to Karachi. I met some of them last month, and they still speak in Marathi at home. So we would like to have a Marathi Utsav in Karachi, bring some of the best Marathi films to Karachi. Along with Marathi, we also do a, we want to do a similar thing, Gujarati Utsav in Karachi. There's a much bigger Gujarati community. We want to partner with journalist organizations to promote more exchange of media persons. One creative idea that our colleagues came up with this morning, Mumbai in, Marathi, Mumbai in Karachi and Karachi in Mumbai. How we can have a crowdsourced project that enables all the people from the partition generation to, to share their memories. These memories should not die. And we're going to have a creative initiative which will enable thousands of people to record and share their memories. 
And one more very important uh, initiative. It's an idea yet. I hope it, you know, there were people who came by boat I mentioned. We want to, we want to take a peace boat, a peace boat from Mumbai to Karachi and Karachi to Mumbai. Then there is a Sindh research project, which is so passionate, which Hamid Harun is so passionate about. It has enormous potential, far beyond just Mumbai and Karachi. And I hope he'll say something about that. And we want to partner with him and his organization so that the best scholars, historians of India and Pakistan, they collaborate to recreate the shared past of Sindh, the cradle of our civilization. So I'm so very happy that you are here at the Observer Research Foundation with your family. I was so happy to meet all of you. And we also have many honored guests. Bhatt Saab is here. Kohli Saab is here. The founder of TCS, friends, 90 years old. He came from Peshawar. You know, when people like you come, you know, we, we get re-energized. So thank you very much, friends. And uh, I now request Hamid Harun Saab to deliver his talk. Thank you. Shukriya.